to welcome one of my favorite bands, and I'm sure your favorite too. Their name is Petra. Petra is really reaching out uh, outside the borders of America. Obviously, you have a real mission emphasis in your ministry. Well, Blaine, when I was in high school, I went to a, a church that took summer choir tours every year for about two weeks. So we'd go out and we'd do concerts in, in malls and different places and schools and different areas like that. We'd also do backyard Bible clubs, door-to-door -door witnessing street evangelism and, and that was very important to me then it it really makes you become secure in your faith to where you know that you know that you know what you're talking about when you say I love the Lord or, or I'm on the rock and knowing that you're armed and dangerous now is the time to really get concerned with world ministry now is the time to affect other people's lives like my life was affected I'm not the same today because people love me enough to share Jesus Christ with me and to give give me hope in my life and that's what I really like about Team Mania and why I really believe in it. This is an experience, this Team Mania is something that, that we know is changing the lives of these kids. They're coming back different people and, and that's what's really exciting. So, you know, if you don't have the money to go, maybe you could talk to your church and get support. I'm sure there's some people in your church that would, you know, gladly uh, put some money in together for a scholarship for missions. You know, if you have an interest to do that, I'd encourage uh, any teenager to, to check it as far as it'll go, you know. Bob, you wrote a song, Armed and Dangerous. Uh, tell us uh, a little bit about the song because the song kind of has a missions emphasis. So tell us what you had in mind when you wrote it. Uh, the song, Armed and Dangerous, is a song about spiritual warfare, which is nothing new for Petra, but it still is something that we feel very strongly about. Then, and it is a very definite part of going beyond belief because each one of us as Christians, uh, I believe, has an obligation, not just a, a suggestion from the Lord, but an obligation from the Lord to put on the whole armor of God and fight the good fight of the faith. And this is saying that we are not defenseless in this struggle. We are armed and dangerous. 